So what's a gay guard anyway? Hi, I'm Steve Turtle and I'm a gate guard. This story is about Jill and I, gate guarding, in the great state of Louisiana. And today's show is packed with a whole lot of good stuff. Last week we talked about our schedule for 24-7 gate coverage. Talked a little bit about some work camp or job opportunities and Chicken and Monkey tried to steal my show. If you missed last week's story and you'd like to see it, I'll leave a link right up there. This week we're going to talk about our night ninth week of gate guarding. Some pros and cons, income and cost, some gate guard opportunities in our next big adventure. Then next week is our last week at gate guarding. It is time for the turtles to move on. And later on, I'm gonna tell a story about our appointment with our doctor. No monkey business. I'd like to share a link to a gate guard group, which is for singles only on Facebook. It's not a dating site, but that does bring up a question. Why is FarmersOnly.com open to everybody? Shouldn't it be for Farmers Only? Anyway, it's a group where single gate guards or those seeking to be single gate guards can go and find out about jobs and ask questions. I'm not a member. I just thought it might be of some interest to somebody on our channel that they might want to check it out. I'll leave a link down below in the description area. Now, for the weather. As a gate guard, you will have to deal with me. So I watch myself all the time. Here's the weather for our friends and family back in York, Pennsylvania. You'll have a snowy week. Thursday and Friday, it will be partly cloudy. Saturday, snow. Sunday, snow. Monday, snow. Tuesday, snow and Wednesday, more snow. So get your snow shovels out. Me, myself, I'm going south like Scott. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about gate guarding. The job is pretty easy. We observe and report, uh, look for any safety issues and sign authorized people in and out of the site. Occasionally we have those uh, out of the ordinary situations. Out of 3,720 log entries, we've only had to refuse entry to two different vehicles. In both cases, they were following a GPS signal and they insisted they had to go through the gate to get to where they were going. One was a service call by a swimming pool guy. I don't know why, because it's winter. And the other one was a UPS driver. He was trying to deliver a package. I think it was one of those part-time UPS drivers. I said no turn around and find another way. They both insisted they had to get through that gate because the GPS told them to. I insisted and uh, they turned around and left the site. So our landowner has cows and he doesn't want anybody driving faster than 10 miles per hour. And that's pretty slow, but it's the rules. So everybody that comes through the gate, we tell them, don't go any faster than 10 miles per hour. For the most part, we haven't had any issues except for one guy and he was escorted from the site for speeding, mostly for his mouth after he was told that he was speeding. Then every once in a while, you'll have somebody blow right through your stop sign. They won't even stop, they'll just go right through. And then you're standing there looking at, uh, trying to figure out what their tag number was. And if you don't know, then you gotta flip through all the pages of all the people that signed in and out and try to figure out who it was so you can sign them out or in. So based on our experience, uh, these things don't happen that often. It's pretty quiet for the most part, but when it does happen, it's actually pretty cool because it don't happen that often. I have another good question from last week. It's from Just a Country Boy. He asked if we received a W-2 or a 1099, and I thought that was a good question because I hadn't discussed that, I don't think. We are paid through direct deposit, and we receive one check for the two of us check is made out to one person, and in our case, it's made out to Jill. She makes all the money. And then we'll receive a 1099 miscellaneous for filing our taxes. With any job, you'll have pros and cons, and each week we will share them with you. Nope, pros, you can pee outside. We're on the edge of a field out in the middle of nowhere, nobody's around, so if you gotta go, you just go. <laughs> Not Jill. Cons, grumpy drivers. 
Occasionally, you'll have to deal with somebody that's just not having the best day for some reason or another. And uh, you just smile, nod, and do your job and tell them to have a nice day. How much money can you make? I'm not going to do like I did last week. That was a little overboard. I, I apologize for that. I just got carried away and uh, I don't know, maybe I was just trying to keep warm. It's cold out here. Each week we will share the money side of things so that you can see the income, the cost, and the volume of traffic that goes into gate guarding. This is our ninth week. This week we earned $1,225. We had 480 log entries and we worked 32 hours. And our total income to date is $11,025. Our total cost for the week, guess. Well, it's $3.50. We bought a case of water. This is how we figure our hours work. We take the 480 log entries and we multiply that by four, which is the amount of time it takes to sign somebody in and sign somebody out. Divide it by 60 and we come up with 32 actual hours that we have worked. Work camp for job highlights. This week, I'd like to share a gate guard opportunity I found in gate guard info <laughs> RV maintenance tips Facebook group. That's a mouthful. I'll leave a link down below. Timekeepers has a growing pipeline project and they need couples and singles. Now this is for daylight guards working a pipeline and the hours are gonna be from seven o'clock in the morning till 5 p.m. Job posting says that the hours will change as the seasons change. The pay is $125 a day, and there's a $25 a day per diem. It's six days a week, and you are a independent contractor. A four-wheel drive vehicle would be helpful. You'll stay off-site, and you will drive to the location. So you'll have to find your own lodging and pay for your own lodging. And the gate guard locations are right up there. The post asks that you call the recruiter for details. Her name is Judy, and here's her contact information. So you can call or text and she'll get back to you. Now, if you'd like to start gate gardening and you don't know how, I'll leave a link to that video story right up there. Jill and I went to see a sex therapist. Will you watch us have sex? Sure. There's nothing wrong with the way you have sex. That'll be $50, please. Did this for several weeks. We made the appointment, had sex, paid the doctor, then left. And finally, just exactly what are you trying to find out? We're not trying to find out anything. Our daughter moved into our camper with the grandchildren, and we don't want to wake them up at night. The Holiday Inn charges $80 a night, and the Hilton charges $180 a night. We do it here for $50, and I get $43 back from Medicare. Like I said earlier in the story, uh, we're gonna end our gate guard adventure next week, and then we're gonna piddle around in Texas, do a little visiting, and then we're going on a vacation down in New Orleans. And we're gonna be down there during the Super Bowl, so if the Saints are in, boy, it's gonna be a hoot. After that, we're gonna follow I-10 across the bottom of the United States all the way over to Florida. And we're gonna visit friends along the way. After that, we're going up the East Coast and we're, we're gonna see all the old stuff, especially when Jill goes, oh, let's go over there. Arriving in Pennsylvania, well, we'll start our next Camp Host job uh, starting the spring, summer 2019 camping season over in Amish country. Well, that's our story for the week. That's all I got to say. If you like this story, click like below and subscribe if you would like to hear more stories like this one. New stories every week on Wednesday right here on this YouTube channel. Next week we'll be traveling and uh, I'm not going to have a gate guard story for you next week. It'll be a non-gate guard story, but I think it'll be pretty good. Then the following week I'll have my gate guard summary. I'll, I'll take all the gate guard information that I have and wrap it up in one big enchilada and I'll get it out there to you. That'll be the following week. Until later, thanks for your time. Bye.